Thank you for watching. My name's Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Govern. We're back to ocean shores out on the coast, and we've uncovered some more information. And the question is, is it a tsunami of incompetence, or is it just a storm that we've uncovered? Okay, we're back in Washington State, still under the coronavirus lockdown by Jay Inslee. And specifically, we're going to be going out again to Ocean Shores, and this is a small town out on the coast, talking about an article that I'd done a while ago about, is it actually a tsunami or a storm of incompetence in Ocean Shores? And again, this goes back to this city that's located out on the coast of Washington State, very picturesque. I've been going there since I was a kid in the 70s. It's a beautiful place, and uh, there had been a story that I wrote about it a few weeks ago, just about some of the problems that I believed that I was finding out there in Ocean Shores, and using that as an example of why you need to dig in and look at local government. Most specifically in that article, I'd been pretty critical of the mayor, Mayor Dingler, uh, whose photo is uh, featured right up here. And she, uh, apparently there had been some supporters of hers who weren't too happy that I wrote uh, this article. And so very specifically, uh, one of the questions that came up about whether it's a tsunami or just a storm of incompetence or corruption that's going on in that city, I had this very specific person comment on it and say, hey, this is a garbage video by a bottom feeder who supplies no context, no fair comment, spreading misinformation, slander, innuendo, and basic baloney into a web of fake reporting, sensationalism purely to draw attention to his misguided political agenda. And that was written under North Beach Community TV. And then there was another comment that he also made, uh, same person actually, uh, but under his own name, Angelo, where he said, the real tsunami of incompetence reverberates from the inaccurate reporting, an unchallenged innuendo strung together by this hack attack. I hope the radio station still abides by FCC regulations and does its due legal diligence for an article riddled with libel and slander. Now, again, I appreciate, it turns out that uh, I appreciate these types of comments. I mean, one thing I really do want to specifically say is thank you. I appreciate all comments, whether they're negative or whether they're supportive of anything I write, because uh, it just shows that somebody's actually taking the time to read and they want to respond, and whether they disagree or not, that's the whole point in having the ability to communicate and be a journalist and report as a citizen journalist on what's going on in your community. You don't expect everybody to agree with you, and I want to thank Angelo for specifically commenting under his own name on my website and under his business name on my YouTube channel, and that's great, North Beach TV. However, what usually happens is, since he was unable to provide anything specific when I asked him on what he thought was libel and slander or inaccurate reporting, uh, and he never responded back with anything uh, about that in the comments or my effort to reach out to him, I did want to look up a little bit, just do my due diligence on who is North Beach TV. And I think this is kind of an illustration of just useful research and information that kind of highlights the problems and challenges that you find in a small town. So specifically in Washington State, you can go to the Secretary of State Corporations and you can look up uh, any business and find out uh, who they are. And in this case, you can go to their uh, Corporations and Charities Filing System and look up uh, North Beach TV. They've been around since 1982, so it's a long-established business located in Ocean Shores, so it's a real company that lives there. And you can actually pull up the documents that they filed with the Secretary of State's office. And lo and behold, and this is again what I want to thank him for this, is that Angelo actually is the president of this company, and he's clearly identified as such in the Secretary of State documents that are filed there. But here's what's much more interesting to me. When you look at the governor list, which are these are the basically the board of directors as filed with the Secretary of State's office, uh, there's some interesting little things that are worth noting here. Uh, three of the people there, very specifically Robert Peterson, uh, and Kathy Peterson, and Lisa Griebel, these are actually people who are tied to the City Council of Ocean Shores. Robert Peterson's a current Ocean Shores council member. Kathy Peterson's his wife. And uh, Lisa is a former council member with Ocean Shores. Nothing illegal about that, nothing wrong about that. I think that's just worth noting because it looks like this vendor for the city of Ocean Shores uh, that is largely the majority of their board members, uh, three out of five of them, are actually tied directly to the city council itself. So that's kind of an interesting background for the negative comments by the president of this vendor. 
And uh, so, of course, he's going to come out and, uh, and not like it when the people who are writing his paycheck, essentially, are, are criticized for poor choices and bad decisions that they might have made. More specifically, actually, if you look at their contract that they signed with North Beach TV, and I have it highlighted right here, you can actually see that uh, the mayor uh, signed it, and it officially went into effect uh, last year, right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic on uh, uh, April 22nd, uh, 2020. So it's a little over a year ago that they had this contract signed, the most recent version of the contract. And they're paid to actually record uh, council meetings and uh, this is a great service. Uh, it's actually something that we would want done because I believe it improves transparency and openness for the public. But to have the community meetings, official meetings, uh, videotaped by a vendor, that's great. There's nothing wrong with the fact that they're hiring this company uh, to do this. But it was interesting that that's, again, the person who's going out and making comments, uh, negative comments about the reporting. However, I want to point out something that's even more interesting. If you look at the minutes from that meeting, and if you can download them here, I'll link these down below in the video description, uh, but this is the section that you'll see where they actually discussed the contract that they gave to North Beach TV at uh, City of Ocean Shores in their April 13th, 2020 meeting. And what's interesting about this is that in the process of doing this, and this kind of just highlights the issues that I'm finding in a place like Ocean Shores, uh, they broke the law. And they clearly broke the law. This is an un unambiguous violation of state law. Specifically, RCW, which stands for Revised Code of Washington, 42.23.3030, subsection 12. It tells you here, and I'll just... Uh, basically highlight this here about how what they're when they do something like this where they approve a vendor or a contract they're required to put a note in the official minutes of the the um, of the city council in this case to let them know let anybody know who'd be reading that there was a conflict with one of the city council members that they were uh, they were officially beneficially in, invested in as a governor of an entity that receives a, uh, money from the city that would qualify and basically saying that, hey, uh, this council member, uh, Bob Peterson, was actually, uh, he voted in favor of this, but he also has a conflict because he sits on the board of North Beach TV. That's what they should have done. That, in order to comply with the statute, they should have done that. And part of my original article here about Ocean Shores, and again, I found this in other cities before, so I'm not just picking on them, but the article was about Ocean Shores originally, is that they seem to have a very challenging time following the law or even remotely complying with it. Uh, and so they frequently seem to violate the law all the time. My previous article talked about a million dollar, approximately a million dollar judgment and the legal costs piled on top of that, that the city incurred simply because the mayor, who claims to be an attorney herself, uh, didn't even bother to follow like elementary basic 101 law. And so that's costing the taxpayers of Ocean Shores a lot of money. And this example right here is another just... I mean, this is with 10 minutes of research. Uh, I found them that the fact that they broke this law. Uh, my experience has been, if they're willing to break a, a little law like this, that they're probably breaking laws all the time, and it seems to just be part of just being sloppy and incompetent and uh, just not following the rules at all. And I really do appreciate, again, the comment from North Beach TV because it kind of helped me dig back and look into this. For those who are a little more interested, too, on some of the background, I do encourage you to listen. I have the audio file uh, that was recorded from that minute or from that meeting. I'll, I'll have it linked down below so that uh, you can go down in the video description here and link to it yourself and listen uh, to the debate because there was actually quite a lively debate about this. And uh, when it came before the city council at the time on April 13th last year, the vote to approve this North Beach contract was very close. It was a four to three vote. So this was a contested vote, and that's fairly unusual because most of the time, if you look at city council meetings, most of their votes are going to end up being unanimous. There's not a lot of controversy. But uh, if that council member had, number one, and this is the easiest way to avoid any conflict, is just recuse yourself from the vote. If he had recused himself, it would have been a three to three vote, which in a strong mayor system like what Ocean Shore has, Mayor Dingler would have had to step in to break the tie, which wouldn't have been so much fun for her because if you actually look at her bio down below that she posts on the city council or on the city website already, it says that she is also a North Beach Community Television board member at large. Now, although she says it there, it's not reflected in the Secretary of State documents, but the problem, of course, then would have been the mayor would have been the same position that the council member was in, and that uh, she would have also had disclosure conflict uh, of interest with the vendor that they were giving the money to. 
And as the city council already violated the law the first time when they did the minutes and didn't note that conflict in their minutes, uh, she probably would have also not noted the, uh, the conflict in the minutes. And so either way, they would have probably violated the same law. But it's just sloppiness. It's problems like this that tend to make me wonder what else is going on in a city like Ocean Shores. And I think that that's something just to remember when we're looking at government. Again, as I have always said now for many years, pay attention to your local government. Their actions affect you and your family. If you live in Ocean Shores, pay attention to Ocean Shores. If you live in Kent or Seattle, start paying attention to what's going on in your local city there because what happens is a mountain of corruption oftentimes can conceal uh, or can be concealed by an ocean of incompetence. This is not unusual. So if you see all kinds of problems, maybe it is just total incompetence and they don't know what they're doing or they don't know how to follow, follow the law or they just uh, refuse to. However, look closely because oftentimes that does conceal other bigger problems. And pay attention to the little things. My description here is about a, a law that was broken and it's not the end of the world, but if they can't get those things right, especially when they supposedly have uh, a mayor who's an attorney and when they supposedly have legal counsel on call, if they can't even get that right, then it's really worth digging deeper and finding out what else is going on in a city like that. So, yeah, I don't mean to peek on Ocean Shore so much, but I do want to highlight that the problems that I've identified here are probably some that you might find in your local city where you live. So I encourage everybody to get involved, to get involved in local government. And if you like this video and you like the information presented here, please don't forget to subscribe, share with others. If you want to read more details, look down below or go to my website at wethegovern.com. And remember, citizen activism is critical. Your involvement in local government is critical to make sure that people are doing the right thing because the future does belong to those who show up.